All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to MC's Kitchen and Outdoors. Hopefully, my head's not cut off. I don't think it is. It should. We should be good. Um, we're out outside here working today. As you can see, I already got one garden bed taken care of and planted. I have this basil that I need to get in here. I got all my soil ready to go to put in here. And I also have some uh, black mulch that I'm going to be putting down along the side of the house right here to try and make it look good there. And then I'm going to be mowing the lawn. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It's not calling for rain, but it sure the hell looks like a lot of rain. But we're going to try and get this done today. Um, first thing I got to do is I got to get some wood in here because I got leaves in the bottom. I got to put some wood in here and then I got to put the dirt in. So I gotta pull. I gotta pull all this grass growing through. I gotta pull that grass out, get it covered up so it dies out when I put everything in here. And then I'm going to start getting this bed prepped, and I'm probably gonna direct sow this bed with. Um, with herbs I believe this one I think this one's gonna be my herb garden that one's vegetables I got tomatoes eggplant and peppers in here this is gonna be my herb garden and then this I'm gonna make my tomatoes no not my tomatoes my potatoes onions and a couple other things but that is probably another week away before I get to do that did this one last week, this one this week, and that one probably next week. But that's what I'm looking to do today. So it's now time to bring over some wood that I have just for the beds that I'm gonna bring over, stick in here, and then get some dirt on top of it. All the wood I'm using in here is wood that is not going to be used in my fireplace. I just need something in there so that I'm not using 20, 30 feet of cubic feet of dirt. And then I actually have to get some screening up because we have, this year, we got a lot of rabbits around. And I actually caught some rabbits around here two days ago. They didn't get to the plants yet, but I'm, I'm th that's what I'm really afraid of. I'm afraid that they're going to get to the plants. So I may have to put some uh, some hardware cloth up just to raise uh, raise it up a bit to keep them out of here. But we'll see. We'll see what I'm going to do with it. Squirrels are another story. Let's hope we can get. Hopefully, we got enough here to deal with it. I gotta take these gloves off, they're useless. And I got, for this project, I got what the stay green, flower, vegetable, and garden soil. It's got fertilizer in it already. And it says it's supposed to feed up to nine months. Um, you can smell the manure in it. So at least, at least I know there's something in here. But I got, like I said, I got all that mulch I want to get done along the side of the house. 
Then I'm gonna mow all this, get it nice and short again. Hopefully get it growing a little bit better. It, unfortunately, it's been neglected for too long and it's getting very difficult to, to uh, make it better. So now it's time to start getting everything better because I can't stand it anymore. It's driving me nuts. I want my lawn. I got to clean up, do a huge clean up. I got to get all the garden beds planted. I want to get the flowers done in the front. I want to get it looking like it's home again. Just breaking up all the, the giant big clumps. We might have some, we might have some dirt for in here. That's three bags. I might have. Uh, I'm probably only gonna have one bag that I can throw in there. We're definitely putting ten cubic feet of dirt in here. If you like watching me playing horse shit, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give the channel a subscribe. Like the video and comment. Put your comments down below. Whatever they are, it don't matter to me. I don't care. After I grow my herbs in it, that I want is going to become my garlic bed for the winter for next year. So as soon as the season's almost done, I'm gonna get some amendments that I need for garlic. It's gonna get put in here. Uh, we're gonna use all 12 yards in here. Yep, we're gonna use all 12 yards in here. But I do wanna... So, for the big one, I am going to need, let's see, that's six, takes care of that, another six takes care of that side, six, twelve, I'm going to need 24 bags, at least 24 bags of this soil. I'm sorry, I haven't been around doing long form videos in a while. I have a whole bunch that I am working on editing, but I'm having a hard time getting around my own head to get these videos edited from hunting season. We were, ran into a few issues here in New York and, and in PA. Not really New York, but PA, which kind of affected me for New York hunting. Um, you'll, see in, you'll see in the videos what I'm talking about, especially hunting on public land. 
the disrespect is just horrible. I'll just leave it at that, and you'll you'll get to see it on the uh, on the videos. But I am I am working on the hunting videos from 2023. I wanted to have them up already, but that didn't happen. So I'm putting together a long form, a short long form video for you guys today. And I do want to do more live streams for you. But life has just made things a bit difficult to do anything. So we'll get this one up to you guys very quickly. Like with it by with without a doubt by tomorrow. Because I'm gonna edit it edit this tonight. Oh, that looks good. I like that. 12 cubic yards. 12 cubic feet. Not yards. 12 cubic feet of dirt to fill a 4x4 bed. I could definitely use two more yards in there, but that's the way it's staying for this year. Next year, I'll, let, I'll fill it. So I'm going to need 12, 24. I'm going to need 48 cubic yards of dirt for this. All right, well, we got that done. Now I got to unhook the hose, move the hose, and start getting some... Uh, wood chips. I got the black wood chips that I want to put down along here and start making around the house look a little bit nicer, a little bit neater. And then the front, I'm going to do a bunch of the same thing, but I'm going to uh, plant a bunch of flowers in the front, which still isn't going to happen for probably two weeks maybe three weeks but let's get let's get started on some of these uh some of these wood chips I'll bring you a little closer show you what i'm doing everything is turning green because of all the pollen we had that huge rainstorm yesterday and today there is nothing but pollen all over the place it's horrible absolutely horrible We're going to get done as much as possible. My son is actually out right now and he is picking me up 10 more bags of this mulch because I only got five and then I realized it's definitely not enough. So he's picking me up another 10 bags. I, I want to try and get as much of this side done as possible and around the fireplace here. good Let's, I want to step back and I want to see how that looks it actually looks pretty good huh that'll work I gotta pull up. 
something I didn't want to do. I hate I hate pulling weeds. It's just a, such a pain in the. You know what? I hate weeding. But it's something that needs to be done, and this is going to be something that's done over the next couple of days. Alright, let's get another bag out. I think I'm going to go around the fireplace first. Get a bag of mulch over here and see what I can do over here. Yeah, I'm not putting a, a weed barrier down. You're right, I am not. Because I plan on keeping up with this. Well, that's the plan, is to redo where it needs to be done over and over again. So it continues to look nice. I actually like that. That actually looks pretty good. All right. I am definitely going to need those 10 extra bags. I'm glad he decided he wanted to take a run into the town because I wasn't in the mood to go running into town. That's for sure. If you guys can still see what I'm doing here, so I'm gonna readjust the camera here. I wonder if I should come out further with the with it. Probably should have cut the lawn before I decided to do this, but it is what it is.
There we go. That actually looks really good. I like the way that's looking. I'm happy with that. But yeah, I'm gonna need to have a delivery of mulch here. Because this is definitely not going to cut it. Because what I spent today in mulch, it's only, I only spent 30 bucks in mulch for what, 15 bags? But that 30 bucks for another 10, I could have gotten a truck delivered for 40 to 60 bucks. And would have been a lot more than this. I'm going to put some more on that other side over there. I don't like the way it turns the corner over there. So let me get... This right here. That should be good enough there. So I got one bag left. That'll go over on that side. Let's get this spread out. There we go. That looks a lot better there. Let's get this straightened out the way I want it. Let's make sure you guys are pointing in the right direction. There. There we go. Much better. That actually looks really good. I like it around the around the fireplace. That looks good. All right, let's get the last bag down. Then we gotta wait until my son comes back with the rest of it. I'm wondering if I should come all the way down to here with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come down all the way to here with it, right here along this line, all the way down, and then get some there. Okay, yep, yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, the 10 bags that he's bringing me should be enough to get that done. Then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about the front. I think I'm gonna have to order that. Even if it costs me, for a dump truck load, it probably cost me about 80 bucks, maybe 100. But that will take care of everything I need. 
the other side of the other side of the house, the front. Two spots in the front. Yeah, okay. All right, folks, so far, what do you think? It looks good, right? It does. All right, let me get rid of this garbage and we'll sit and uh, relax and wait until uh, my son gets back with the other 10 bags. Maybe I can get this all done. Probably not gonna be enough to do where I want to, but it's gonna get most of it done. I actually like the way this looks. It actually looks really good. All right. Cool. I'll talk to you guys on a few. We'll come back as soon as he gets back. All right, we're back on, folks. Ten more bags. Hopefully, this will be enough to finish off this this one section. Um, you want a microphone? Okay. Because I got an extra one. All right. Start opening these I got. Yep. I got. I got. Don't use yours. Don't use yours. I got mom's. Old mom's old one. Do one at a time. Yep. I'm just gonna go down the line. I'm just gonna cut them all over. No, don't, don't, because I might need to move them depending on where we are. So we're gonna do one at a time. And then it's just a matter of. Exactly. All right, let's bring the next one over. Open that up and dump it. Perfect. We may not make it to the end, no, but we'll be will. close. I think we might. Oh, no, I think we'll make it. It's going to be close. We'll see. Be nice if we did, but we'll see.
not thin. Yeah, this is I'm a little this is a little too thin, so get it closer to it. So we can spread some of it on here. Perfect. Up and next, another one. Actually, looks really good. It does. <clears throat> Dump it right here. We're not making it. It's all right. It's close enough. I can always pick up another five bags yep. tomorrow to be able to finish it off, especially with it being ten bucks for oh, five yeah. bags.
on this one. We gotta be a little careful over yeah, here. Yeah. We're gonna be just like one or two bags short. I was thinking two bags short. Probably one bag short. One, one, one bag short. It's all right. Into the recycling bin. Short. Yeah, one bag. Wow. Yeah. Look at how good that actually really looks. Wow. Holy cow. Oh, all right, folks. I'm going to give you a Quick close up to this. Gotta get some of this dirt off my hands before I grab the tripod. <sighs> well, for today we're done. Ugh. So we went from this side of the fireplace. You can see it all the way down. Ran it along the fireplace, back up to the house, all the way down. And we are literally one bag short to the end of the house. One bag. Oh well. These things happen. What are you going to do? I could have thinned it out a little bit in some spots. But I'd rather, have it thicker, yeah, I'd rather have it thicker than thinner. And it looks, it looks really good. I really like the way it looks. All right, do me a favor. Down at the end over there is the drainage um, triangle. I need that so they can fix this gutter and get the water to run away from this. It's in, it's in, I just need it lifted up. That'll work. This way, any water that comes out will drain and away from it, won't wash it away. Well folks, a quick episode, long form, of doing a little bit of yard work, a little gardening. Get my hands dirty. Oh yeah. 
knees dirty. <laughs> um, the beginnings of making this yard start to look like a, yard. like a normal yard again. Um, thanks for watching, MC's Kitchen and Outdoors, folks. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you on the next short or long form video. Take care, bye.